Hello guys, welcome back to Solid Motion VFX. We are inside After Effects here. We will be creating a short tutorial again uh, with the film effects, trying to create realistic fire. So uh, this is the kind of look we're going for. You can ma really make some realistic fire inside of uh, film effects in uh, with uh, Cinema 4D, but just uh, be aware that it takes a long time to render. That's why I only got uh, 85 frames here or so. So it's gonna take a long time, but uh, you can use this uh, technique to everything, you know, selective fire on housing where you actually use uh, the custom maps, which I showed you in another tutorial on my channel, where you can actually go in and paint the area where you need to uh, create the fire emissions. So that's also another great way of where you can make these incredible realistic looking firing. So inside of Cinema 4D, I uh, loaded up my Filmafix interface my layout window will start by adding a simple uh, particle let's see here uh, particles emitter rotate it and I think it's the wrong way so we'll just do 90 like so let's give it some some frames to work with give it a 300 frames here to play with let's see the animation okay so we can make some changes here we're gonna go in and um, to the emitter two hundred here and uh, let's see the lifetime we will uh, give it only lifetime of three and let's see how it is we can actually bump up the speed a little bit two hundred yeah so we're gonna use these as our lighting source as our fuel this will be these particles you can also use a uh, object source or any geometry in here if, if uh, you want to do that everything can be used as a fuel source so the stop emission we have 300 frames so let's give it 300 let's see what we have now so this is the kind of look we have right now let's give it a slight variation on lifetime of 15 speed 20 percent like so okay let's add in a particle source so for the value here we will say 1.6 let's go in here maybe 1.8 yeah 1.8 and for the velocity 0.9 so it doesn't shoot up uh, we want to like have a small damping on the velocity then we'll also want some introduce some uh, turbulence here go to forces and add in turbulence and in the turbulence let's just set the strength to 10 centimeters just a little subtle effect here and now let's go in and add in our film effect grid viewport let's see here enable the quality bump that way up if you have a decent computer so uh, let's see for the general tab let's adjust the container here and the height we can always adjust that inside let's add a camera here and lock it like so so this will be our view let's see what we have that looks good and let's just go out of camera view and with the film let's also actually add a couple of lights here uh, the shadow and we'll make it ray traced hard let's see and the camera we don't want to interfere with us so let's bring the light up here one here we'll just make three light sources and all of those three make sure that they're ray traced hard and let's see here let's also place them in different levels as well good and now into the film fix object source drag in your particle source and drag in your let's see what we have here uh, we're gonna use the illumination we're gonna bring in our four lights sorry three lights in here 
and step jittering 220 percent on jittering enable multiple scattering fall off eight like so all right and let's go in and also add a wind here and while we add it at the film effects the wind is automatically added here we out of camera view so let's just go into our wind and rotate it a bit like so uh, and then of course for for the wind we want to give it a strength of 0 0.8 here 0 0.8 here and the turbulence keep that at one like so inside the film effects let's go to the rendering tab and we won't be using smoke here so let's just concentrate on the fire let's make a decent shader here not too fancy like i said this is just a quick uh, fire setup but it will give you a real realistic look here um, let's make this a bit yellowish like so now we have something good going on here opacity we can actually bring that up to 0.1 like so intensity up as well 0.7 like so so that's for our fire here so now we're going to the simulation tab so for the simulation tab bump up the quality and the advection drive 0.6 time scale 0.5 on this one and let's see here x turbulence 0.18 and this time the scale this is the first time on all the tutorials uh, where we actually go way down to one diesel leveled up this will really bring up the diesel and give you a really realistic look remember with these drop downs just a little tip here you can also use effectors which you have really powerful control over your settings frames we say 15 so that means it takes 15 frames to run our turbulent cycles and let's see here for the fuel so for the burn rate four remember the lower this value is the higher the flame goes burn variation 0.9 heat production we can keep that expansion is not an explosion so let's just lower that to uh, 0.8 so and we don't want for any smoke here so for, we can just disable that for the temperature so the temperature buoyancy 0.3 on that so let's just take a quick look see what we have right now so our particles just shooting up and they're shooting up really fast so maybe let's lower this down to 160 still with three frames that looks good and maybe our turbulence here we could actually go up to 15 centimeter like so Yeah, that's perfect so now you're actually ready to go in and start up your fire up your sim so right now it's only one centimeter but because of the grid uh, direction and sp uh, spacing here you can see the little voxel down here that means uh, it's a uh, very low risk right now so you really need to go in and lower this value to get a high point one eight I would go something like this it's gonna give you a really high uh, simulation time just don't run 300 frames do uh, maybe uh, 150 and uh, set the output here in this value remember that and also give yourself a good uh, SSD hard disk on your default uh, pathway where you want to store your sim because it's gonna take a large amount of disk space and uh, I would like to say that you could just run this all night, but it's gonna be able to run for the next day or so when you know when you have this high resolution. But uh, if you're going for the, the realistic look, then that is definitely the way to go. I even didn't went all that way down, and I still got a really good, decent look here. You can see that actually looks like really fire. So and just play with the with the speed, and then come here and do some color correction on it. So basically, guys, that was my little 10 minute tutorial on making a, creating a realistic fire. So stay tuned for another great tutorial coming up.